some test with Swahili Y. That's the possibility the alternative is see the properly handle the, our server information, UR information, metrics information, and we can create one of the user role, uh, user register there, register new user. See so that the template information, so which information need to be just simply copy paste for the time savings. Uh, for the for here copy and then we can go the the swagger uh, swagger UI in the browser change it values and then execute execute application. The endpoint so it's one on two hundred tens, two hundred eleven, and two hundred twelve. I think so twelve. So it's properly handled and then we'll, let's see. 212 create one user role definitions try out that one so you can say 212 uh, 12 and then do some some again the copy some data from uh, for lazy I'm a little bit lazy to type it so put it there so execute so execute 107 108 and 109 and so on so forth so so we did some test and then let's see in database level it is there properly coming uh, we have a 212 this is really 212 is coming so so we have see the 200 to 11 12 10 11 12 is properly handled into the our database tables and then also is a role tables we can check it like that's one's coming uh, that is coming so you see the 109 10 11 is linked to the uh, 212 so it's therefore you say one two three four five six just like testing how it is works and when testing is something some testing is done we can see how the how the how the prometheus how the application prometheus called so it's requested coming and you can see how to refresh the graphs and then all the inspect the information how the our call is, is located you see the the call information for each of the calls how it is done how it is the pre request how it is the mapped when it is mapped and how it is it handled so you can see the information you can minus it the one last five minutes you can do the more minutes the request and response time and then build all the graphs. all the professional uh, graphs is there so you can visualize all things that you need or that's when you can process it so all the information every request is there all the metrics informations if i go to the metrics information the jbm uh, maybe jbm some jbm uh, uh, jbm max byte used maybe execute this one no it is we can remove one of them Next by so execute. So you see that there's all information about the JPM max byte using using the information that's enough. So and the same thing you can also the Prometheus information that's exactly what we have it in Grafana and it, uh, information you can see the Grafana information that all the all the metrics information that we need that we need to define in the Grafana informations. We have the application when the application is running and then it has the information oops when is replication running how much time and how the cpu uses and then so on so forth all the metric information i do the configuration how how in the later later screencast how detail more detailed information how can you configure the prometheus with the Grafana and then how can you build your own own dashboard to, to monitor your microservice applications but not a single application or, the, or all the application that you need and that's you need to be defined in the Prometheus application. So that means uh, we, we need to be done the, the microservice application, uh, Spring Boot application, then when the URL is there, you need to be done the your Prometheus the, in the Docker container. That's why I already show you here the Docker container. And then out of the container, you run the email. These images download it. What's the latest image? What we did in here, the Docker the Grafana image and then Prometheus image is there down levels and then it has the if, if you run the application you see the application is the Prometheus applications 909 9090 and Grafana uh, container application is running 30000 <coughs> 
and the application running and you run the Spring Boot application, the link to the your application, then you can visualize it, all the metrics information into the your, uh, Prometheus guy, your, uh, UI and also the Kapana UI. So we will do the, the linking between, how can you link the, between the uh, Gafana, uh, Prometheus and Gafana, we'll do tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, maybe later, later, later screencast. I don't know I, when I have enough times, so we can discuss a little bit more detail. Maybe we run the same application for, for, for tomorrow and see exactly when the application is running, how much times, and then what's happening each of the services, and so on and so forth. This all the information we will check together. In the tomorrow is refreshing information every 30 seconds. You see the refresh flags is there, then all the UJBM memory information, hip space information, all the information that you need to really visualize or to, to monitor JBM information. So so all the information that's needed, that's required, and so on. So and then though can analyze the, all the dashboard you see the, all the different type of dashboards and user settings information we have the different data sources that's what we will discuss tomorrow how can we do it how can we monitor these things we can how can you configure this together when i have time for the next screencast so we then we will already discuss how with the logging logging information so we can pass it like this log information docker we already see the logger information Today's application is too slow. The Docker processes that I already discussed, and then see the sum of the log information uh, from the from the containers uh, from running containers, uh, from maybe the, from the Kafana containers. So log Docker logs, uh, Docker logs. Oh my goodness, uh, logs, and then pass the pass the container ID. So how the Kafana is logged information. So you see the the lot of log log information, the detailed information, how the Kafana GUI is what is doing, and what is the information that the Kafana is handling. The, the metrics information are exactly the, the presenting the the the, the GUI the present what is exactly presenting to the Gafana GUI. You see the all the interactions, all the informations that the Gafana is tracking and also that you can also see the visualize the all the interaction with the with the Gafana, the Prometheus also. So you can see you can also again the uh, Docker Docker, uh, Docker PS, and then we can also the Prometheus part. This is taking really slow. Okay, we will do continue the further asking cast that better, uh, better, better running the application again. So. the information for the Gafana uh, and we can see the log information about the, the Prometheus information. So that's exactly information that we need to define. We need to see what's happening in the, the Prometheus UI or Prometheus log information. You see the log, Prometheus log information and also we already saw the, the information uh, from, the, from the logs uh, and then the information that we are looking for the information into the into the database level log information then we can also configure the prometheus and Gafana tools with the uh, with the with the with the, with the, with the, with the different data source that i will show you tomorrow i can define the different data source and different matrices and visualize the all the information that we need and then can define all we can discuss the, all the properties files configurations different graphs possibilities and also different data source possibilities how can your own dashboard create it and then also all things together we'll discuss tomorrow detailed information and dashboards and save or we can save it live uh, and demo demo uh, zero one dashboard we can save the dashboard so we save the dashboard to zero one and then you can have all the possibility that's 
so we'll create the different uh, the data sources uh, we'll discuss it with later part you see the different possibility uh, that the for the the uh, Gafana you have a different data source possibility you have a uh, with Prometheus, this is default. This is what we are looking for. You have a possibility, all the plugins, the data source possibility, and the logging documentations and log documents databases. You can see the distributed tracing systems, the, all the MySQL that I said. You can also, that, that's I, I will discuss a bit later, later uh, section. How can you define the, your database also? You can log in and you can visualize the performance of your databases. What we did into the into the into the into the into the, into the browser for, for PG admin browser. So if you go to the PG admin browser, uh, you can go also the dashboard. You see the dashboard performance. The time uh, it is to stop the process. You see the dashboard was exactly the same dashboard we tried to present. We tried to visualize the uh, that same thing into the into the into the into the into, the, into Prometheus or into the visualization tools. That's why I will discuss a little bit later part and the discussion. All the possibility, you have a cloud, cloud possibility to visualize the Gafana clouds, enterprise plugins, and then also all the lot of possibility uh, if you use the Gafana as a monitoring tool or a visualization tool of your microservice application. So we will continue. How can you do? How can you configure? How can you select the Prometheus part and then how can make a different uh, configurations and the Prometheus the define the dashboards and then so on and so forth. That's we'll define a later part of the of the of the screencast. So then just follow the channels, subscribe the channels, share with friends and colleagues, and write down your your comments, your ideas, your concept. That's really help us. And also, I believe that this the screencast really help you as a, to work with the professional professional life into the your, your professional life or you contribute this this screencast into the your your company benefits or flexibility. How can you work with the professional life? For those all set of combinations with the with the API documentation, with the profile monitoring tools like Afana Prometheus, and how can you systematically implement the microservice application? That's I believe that's really help into the your professional career. So in professional life. So subscribe, write down your comments. We will try our best to respond to you.